I'm actually not the leader of the team. Technically, we're all equal right now. Our leader yeah. actually got let okay. go, unfortunately. <laughs> oh. So, <laughs> okay. Yes. So that's been a big switch in general. We've all tried to fill the shoes and own really our roles and come into that. And really what we've been doing is just prioritizing our tasks. We really focus on what's needed for the week. We have meetings where we're discussing, you know, what needs to be done? How can we all be on the same page? And that's helped us tremendously by allowing us to see where we're spreading ourselves thin and where we can actually focus more of our efforts. We also are excessive communicators. We are on Slack, we're emailing, we're messaging, we're on Zoom. We were super efficient before the layoffs too. So we all respect one another and we all lean on each other to help ourselves succeed, whether that's by picking up the Slack in different tasks or by learning a new skill. I will say, What's really helped us is clear communication and setting boundaries on who's handling what, because it takes more time for multiple people doing the same thing than having one person focusing on one task. So we've really had to mm -hmm. push that forward. We've also, okay. Okay. yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, go ahead, keep going. <laughs> we've also had to create processes and workflows that are more efficient for us. Since we are so lean, we've really had to streamline our tasks and efforts to remove any blockers. And finally, setting those realistic goals. We, we really had to push and forecast what could be realistic for this quarter and for the next couple quarters, actually. So we took a look at our top performers, the content campaign performers. We tried to see what we could update, refresh, and take a new angle with. And we really honed in on our target audiences. These, this helps us create more personalized content. And, you know, when resources are limited, it's really crucial to focus on those customers, understanding what they need, their, what we can offer them and tailoring it to their needs. So it's helped us look at the different channels effectively, messaging, positioning, and just optimizing our campaigns. Okay. So a lot to unpack there. Yeah. Let's, let's dig into some <laughs> of this stuff. So, so first you said they, you actually let go of the, the leader of the team. So is there. So there's no, like, there's no one person who's kind of in charge at the moment. Correct. We're all in charge of very our specific channels and we, we all operate very well together. Okay. So everyone's sort of the leader yeah. of, of the We're team or everyone's level. leading themselves. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, so that's interesting, right? It kind of makes you, <laughs> kind of makes you wonder, like, do you need a leader? You know, do you yeah. need someone who's on across everything? I would say the biggest challenge for us right now is all being on the same page because we all have ideas. We all want to do everything. So we really have to work together to make sure that we are focusing on the needs and the goals of the company and putting that forward and how we're going to all work and move that forward. Mm -hmm. And so in terms of making decisions about what to work on, what to prioritize, it's a, it's a democracy. You, you all kind of get together and talk about it and decide together. Well, in terms of seasonality, there's some pieces that you have to do during certain times and for mm -hmm. campaigns. But if we want to try something new, yes, we do bring it to each other to make sure that it's in line and it's something that we can actually do. 